sit down and talk and say, look, um, I don't think this is going to work out between us. Then, once that is established and you guys both agree on it, hopefully, you can do whatever the fuck you want. You can fuck the whole borough or state if you want to. With several billion members, the human race is divided in two distinct sexes, male and female. While men are simple creatures requiring only the most rudimentary of emotional needs to be satisfied, there is a subgroup classified as the nice guy, a dying breed of chivalrous, romantic, domesticated gentlemen whose qualities are desired by the opposite sex, allegedly. However, they are dismissed, scoffed, and confined in such concepts as the bestie, work husband, and the dreaded friend zone. Uh, you don't think this is a little bit too dramatic? Just let it happen. Joe and Jason are the last of the nice guys. Welcome to the last of the nice guys. I am your fabulous. What? What was that? Just shut up. I am All your. Right. I am your amazing, and fabulous. One fabulous. half. One half of yeah, fabulous. One half of the host of uh, this fucking great podcast called the Last of the Nice Guys. My name is Joe. And I'm and Jason. Me. And uh, we are once again. The last, last of the nice guys. Of the nice guys. I don't know why he always gets this like oh, the last of the nice guys. Like you don't like my my intros. You don't like my my I, enthusiastic intros. I like your I like your enthusiasm. I just wish it wasn't so so Brooklyn. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm trying. I'm you see, I'm trying to. Uh, um, <laughs> I don't want to say this. <laughs> coming wait hold um, up Co- coming from somebody who used to live in New York. I, I've, very... never had the, I've never had that accent. I've never had a Brooklyn accent. I've been very, uh, God forbid, don't, don't take it the wrong way, intelligent speaking. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I've, had, I've had a very, a very neutral accent, a very universal accent, and that's what I'm trying to project for okay. our audience. Yeah. That's okay. that. That was a low blow. That was a low blow. What I'm trying to say is that I, I don't just want people from Bed Stuy listening to this to this podcast. I like it oh, to be national. So who knows? So maybe, sort of, maybe, so. maybe, actually, who knows? Maybe, um, maybe from Beb, maybe people from Bed Stuy, especially women, can hear this and they can come to M- Miami, or I can they can contact me so I can get a hold of them and, they, and then get a hold of you, and we can, you know, we can have a only if they're Asian, and there's no Asians in Bed Stuy, so just keeping it real. Anyway, folks, um, so uh, today's topic <laughs> is um, uh, is is uh, is cheating more complicated now thanks to the internet. Ooh. Now I actually, now I actually got an, got this article from Yahoo.com, and uh, you know I read I read Yahoo.com, and basically, because of the internet, cheating is now very a very broad umbrella. Now, how do you define cheating, Joe? Um, well, uh, I'm so glad you asked that, Jay. Um, cheating is, to me, in my opinion, I'm not sure how to view it, but in my opinion, cheating is a form. It could be a form of a a, a mental. Uh, it could be a mental. You can have different forms. Mental cheating is probably one of the worst. Physical is right on top of there, but mm-hmm. apparently, people don't take it as as bad as mental. And um, I guess actually, I guess those are the only two that I can think of. Is there is there a, a form of like? Uh, I know it's probably doesn't make any sense, but like verbal cheating. Can you can you be can you <laughs> inappropriately if you're in a relationship or married be inappropriately? Um, Flirting with with the opposite sex. Yeah. Or the, yeah. So is that yeah. is that a form of cheating, like verbally? I guess. Well, I mean, you tell me because I, I I'm going to define it myself. I'm going to be very broad. So yeah, yeah, people can say that flirting is considered cheating, whether whether it's harmless or not. Yes, you're being you're being disrespectful to your right. to your spouse by by engaging in such talk with others. So yeah, yeah. Yeah. So that's that. That's my um, 
those are my forms of cheating that I, uh, and and let me just put this out there on the table. I um, am not a fan of cheating. I don't condone it. I'm one of those guys that, and Jason knows me very well when it comes to this because we have spoken about this several hundred times in the past 15 plus years that we've known each other and been friends. Um, I don't condone cheating. I don't think it's fair. I think it's a, 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 a mind fuck. Uh, I think that um, having the ha- if you are a human being and you have even a, 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 an inch of a, of a, a decent heart, uh, you wouldn't you wouldn't betray the person that you're with, even if you don't like them. I feel as if you should probably just go ahead and speak to the person, which people are not going to agree with me on when it comes to this, because some fucking idiot is probably going to comment on this on this on this episode and be like, "Hey, by the way, uh, no," or rather, they'll they'll turn around and be like, "Oh, but people have emotions and feelings, and sometimes uh, saying that to your significant other that you don't want to be with them no more is kind of like a hard thing to do." Uh, no, it's not, because <laughs> in my opinion, if you feel like it is a simple if if i honestly i feel like that is the best way a, a good wholesome conversation have it at your house have it at an establishment sit down and talk and say look um i don't think this is going to work out between us because of x y and z and then once that is established and you guys both agree on it hopefully you can do whatever the fuck you want. You can fuck the whole borough or state if you want to. Agreed. But, agreed. Yeah, but yeah, but do it. F, do it, please. Like, if you're gonna, if you have a, a if you have a, a, if you have like tendency or you have this, this, this feeling that you're about to, just pause and put yourself in the other person's shoes if you can, and realize that once the other person finds out, that's very fucked up, you know. Especially, and, and that's that's my biggest thing. Like, it's the fear of the unknown, which I know, me and you both know, what this is about and what that means. It's it's the fear of not knowing if the person that you're with is being faithful to you or not, and you can't really tell. And there are so many factors when it comes to that because people can be your significant other can be can turn it around or flip it around and be like, hey, you're in my business way too much. Or, hey, uh, I don't know why you feel that way. You can trust me. Stop being so paranoid, mm-hmm. calling you names. You feel you're paranoid, you're jealous, you're insecure. Those are all, if someone constantly has to say, say that to you, that, my friend, is kind of a red flag. It's a red flag because those words shouldn't be brought out if you are concerned about something or you feel like something in your gut is not right. You should have the authority and the right to bring it up. Even if the conversation's gonna go left field, you brought it up. And if the person that you're with is mature enough, they can respect that. They can tell you maybe truthfully, oh, you know, I did this, I fucked up. Okay, make your stance and then decide what you want to do from their answer. Uh, I have a lot to say about this topic, Jay. I'm pretty sure you know. Because, I can see that. I can see yeah. that. I, see, I, I actually disagree with you when it, came, when it comes to uh, um, Consistently uh, having having concerns and bringing it up with your partner over and over again, having them having them uh, say that to you. You said that they should be, a, you know, it's a red flag if the person keeps saying you're insecure. You should stop, and nothing's going on. I disagree. My phrase is this, and it goes it it goes with both jealousy and it goes with cheating. It's okay. like if you if you if you feel insecure with right. your relationship right. with the person. And you can't get the security or the the reassurance from them from their words that you have no business being with them, whether right. they're cheating or not. That's not how I feel. And same thing, it goes with cheating, it goes with jealousy. I'm not a jealous man. Um, it's not something that I feel. And and it's funny because I've met some women that said, if you don't feel jealous and you don't really care, I no no I'm 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 I'm, I'm mature. I right. don't. I'm not about jealous. If I'm gonna start feeling jealous, then I have no business being with you. Right. Period. Because that right. means that, that I honestly have no no trust in either you or your circumstance. And exactly. why, am I, why am I going to put myself through that? You know what right. you're trying to say? So 100%. that's why I don't feel je- jealousy because I don't want to allow myself to get to a point where that's an issue. So, and it's right. thing with cheating. If, if, I, if I feel, or if somebody, if I feel insecure and I can't get that security and I can't get that reassurance, I will, I have no business being with you. And and I, and that goes twofold. Um, 
if a woman is with me and that's how she feels and by talking to me i'll say listen there's nothing going on you are being a little insecure you and i will say these terms you're being insecure you're being you're being a little irrational you know and if that's not enough for you you need not be with me right you need not be with me especially if you have no proof it's just a feeling it's just an inkling if i can't if I'm not here to mitigate your feelings. I'm sorry. Yes, hundred percent. Please, I can't, I can't, yes. I can't do it. Yes. You know, because, because if if it's not something, if it's not something that I am internally doing that I can fix, but it's something that's that that's, that's within you, I can't change that. Right. And I won't try. To, and I and it's that part, I won't try to change it. I won't. If you feel that way, and I can't make you feel uh, feel any other way, then you might as well walk away. Simple as that. And that's how that's how I feel when it comes to that. So <clears throat> back to the topic at hand, cheating has become more complicated because of the internet. Because now I'm going to give my definition. My definition of cheating is intimacy and emotional. That's it. If you are emotionally connected to somebody else and you're telling them how much you want to be with them, how much you want to be with them, that's cheating. If you are if you are physically intimate with somebody, that's cheating. That's it. Right. Flirting right. for me is nothing because I do it. It's harmless. Work husbands is all harmless. That's why I mean, could it lead to more? Sure, but it's all harmless. Me, I boil it down to two things. If you are mostly connected to somebody else and you'd rather be with them or you're thinking about them when you're with me, you're cheating and you might as well go. Right. Or if, you, if, if you're physically intimate with somebody else and you might as well be with them, you should go. That's how I boil it down. But right. thanks to the internet now, cheating is now a, a, an umbrella. So thanks to certain uh, dating websites and things like that. So, uh, in this article, it, it brought up how um, the word online and cheating usually brings up CD dating sites like Ashley Madison. But in reality, the, when we say the Internet, feelings of, of betrayal and jealousy, they're coming from things like double tapping the wrong person's picture on Instagram. Right. On, yes. On, sharing, on, on following the wrong people on Snapchat. Right. On liking or hearting the wrong things on Facebook. Right. And that's that's where I, where I, where I get into the whole what the fuck? We're all adults. <laughs> okay? We're all adults. I love how you said that. No, 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 because, no, no I, because, because um, I think it happened to me where where I liked a chick's um, post three times in a row because it appeared three times in a row on my feed. And I was called out on it. Is, it, is, this, is this who I think it is? And I don't know. I don't think it's anybody of any significance, actually. No, 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 no. It, it, I'm, I'm asking you, is it who I think it is? Yes, yes, of the girl. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, that is the girl who I was liking the because they all appeared in a, in a row. <laughs> You're absolutely right. And I was called out on it because apparently you can look at somebody's activity and see. Right. And so it gave the include the illusion that I went to her, to her page and I just went uh, heart crazy. Yeah. And I was like, what is that proof of? That I think right. the pictures are hot? Yeah. But what does that mean? You didn't see me commenting. And even more so, that's even different. So when it comes to that, I have a great example. And I know you people are going to shove it in my face, but whatever. The, the, I had a relationship. It was, a, it was the last relationship that I had before creating my studio. And we were all friends. We were in a big group. We, were, we had an email chain. We'd all hit on each other and flirt with each other. It was just fun. Yeah. You know? Some, were, some, some had, had, had relationships. Some had marriage. Some of us were single, and we all just made jokes. And sometimes we 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 would say, you know, I'd be like, yo, you know, I, I'd wax that ass if you didn't have a husband. Just as a joke. That was the, the 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 dynamic of that group. Right. Me and one of the members of that group ended up getting together. We started seeing each other on the low. Still did the same thing with the group in the emails. All of it was inappropriate, and it was fantastic. Did you tell me this before? Was this something that I knew? I knew about uh, this, right? Yeah, you should know about this. I mean, it's been a long time, but yeah, we're, we're talking about twenty ten now. So oh wow, wow, yeah, 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 yeah. So, me and this individual eventually out ourselves, and we're in a, and we're in a full relationship. And we we the first the first day back to work, and we're and we're back to our email chain. We all worked at different places. We just did a group email, and I remember telling one of her friends, um, which in retrospect, I guess who I guess it was wrong, but I but I she had sent a picture saying you know to the group, what about this? And my first reaction was. Was you know I, you know I'd spank that ass every day twice on Sunday something like that. I said I sent it back and I sent it back to the group, you know, like we always did. But this is the this is the first time though the group members two people are dating in the group, 
And so I get a text message on the side from her. And she's like, I didn't like that. That was inappropriate. Why would you say that? And I, I this is me at work. What? Yeah. Oh, crap. Like, what yeah. happened? Yeah. What, what did I do? I didn't realize that in her mind, now that everybody knew we were dating, that that kind of behavior was immediately taboo. We never had that discussion. We were friends before. Right. So, and she was jealous. And I want to say that, that a couple of weeks, in, uh, a couple of days afterwards, she would then inquire, so are you really attracted to her? Like, what do you, what do you I mean, I'm just like, hold on now. It was just a comment. Nothing I haven't said before. Right. But that, it, it created some kind of jealousy, which of course helped spiral that relationship into a flaming turd. But the fact is, though, is that I never messaged the girl on the side. We never hung out. We never caught us together. All I said was one statement via email to, to the group was even hidden, which right. you were on. And all of a sudden, you had insecurities with thinking that I wanted, I really did want a piece of your friend. Now, yeah, and granted, in hindsight, you know, twenty hindsight 2020, that was probably a dumb thing to do. But, <laughs> but, me, but me being naive, me right. being naive and thinking that the dynamic of the group wasn't going to change because we were dating, I felt comfortable saying that. But the fact of the matter is I felt comfortable saying it, and you were in the group. You saw me say it. So it wasn't like I was hiding anything. So... Stuff like that. So when it comes to, to the internet, you know, this is an issue where, yeah. where, where you have to watch your behavior on social media because that can, then be, that can then be misconstrued as disrespecting your spouse. And I find that to be utterly absurd. Right. Unless you're being overtly, you know, overtly crude or overtly flirtatious. And even then, I don't know. You know, well, 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 there, there are some, there are some people out there who, you know, because uh, when you, when you first, when you, well, I mean, people don't really know when you're. <laughs> this is stupid to say, but people don't, people, people don't usually know when they're in something deep until they get, uh, in. I guess, I guess when they, when they realize it's that deep. What I'm saying is, when you, when, when you know you're in a deep relationship and it's gonna last, or you feel like it's gonna last. Well, then again, no one really knows if it's going to last or not. But when you have an, like an inkling of knowing that you have somebody who you, you who you can see, you can be with for a very long time. Um, it, once that starts happening, I think that certain people out there, especially nowadays in today's society, they don't take the time to. Uh, I wouldn't say establish some some type of limits or rules. Right like boundaries, take, correct. Yeah, they don't take the time to talk about, you know, these the you know things that would be okay with them and things that wouldn't be okay. Now, me for example, you know, I, me my fiance and I we had this, this discussion because I'm the type of guy from my experiences before I met her, I've had probably mainly negative experiences to be honest with you um aside from yeah aside from the relationship i'm in now so with that being said my experiences from before have led me to kind of be more so aware and to watch my own back so i'm i automatically especially when the beginning when i first started this relationship that i'm in i had a very big guard up and a, a huge fucking wall that was i guess described as the the guy wall because when women have a wall up, um, it's way different than than how we have it up. But uh, I I had that up, and I was very skeptical about having my you know giving my heart or giving giving my all. It was just very taboo to me because I've gotten so so much negative responses towards it before her. And we I've had this conversation with her in the beginning where. Oh, you know, it, 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 I think it was one. It, we we were just out one day. We were, I, I think, having lunch or breakfast or dinner, whatever it was, and we just spoke about it. You know, we spoke about our our past and we spoke about what we what what we like or don't like, and uh, we established this. I had made sure we established it way in the beginning of our relationship, so that we have an understanding. Look, uh, <laughs> I'm not doing no open thing. Um, this is I want to strictly keep it between us. Uh, there are certain things that do bother me. There are certain things that did bother me. You know, I kind of have this thing with me, and blah 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 blah. And you kind of, you kind of uh, 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 describe yourself, or you describe yourself to that person you're with in a way where um, I may feel comfortable about this, and I may not. Now, I've 
I, I re- not recently, but maybe like a year ago, I've had another conversation with my fiance about this because um, there were there were certain things that she felt was okay, and I didn't feel like it was okay, and mm-hmm. I was not cool with that. And you have to understand, and this is where the selfishness comes in. I'm not saying my fiance is selfish; she's not, but this is where people can sometimes lose themselves lose themselves when it comes to, you know, having these selfish tendencies. You cannot say or do something, turn around and say that you did it or did it, uh, uh, set, turn around and say that you said it or did it, and then feel like it's okay because you were the one who thought of it or you're the one who committed the act. Uh, I'm not going to turn around 100% of the time and be like, yeah, you know what, that's cool, no problem. Uh, yeah, it's, it's nothing, whatever. There are certain things that do bother me. There are certain things that I... Well, you're and human. Just, I mean, you're, right. you're human, so... But I, I've i had experiences where, even recently, where I feel like, you know, things that have occurred or, or have been said are, are not cool with me. And I'm not saying that I'm closed off when it comes to being open-minded, but at the same time, I am who I am, and those are my thoughts. I just am not cool with a lot of things that most people in the world would, you know, uh, I guess, be okay with or, or, or be kind of like a la-di-da type mood. I, I, mean, you, I mean, so you you have your own standards of behavior right. and what you will not tolerate, which we, you would hope everybody has. And you're, you're maybe what you're saying is that you're more willing to communicate that more than the average individual or the average man is what you're trying to say. Right, right. So that that is how... That, that's how I feel about that because uh, it's such a touchy subject when it comes to – again, if you're in a, in a new relationship three months to five months or six months, whatever, I – these things have to be established early on. You know, you have to – you can't – for example, you can't be in a, in a, in a three-year relationship so far and in the third year your partner's like, oh, well, I think we should probably have a threesome. Um, first of all well, – well, that's just that's just mixing it up. It's keeping things fresh. Are you, are you against keeping things fresh in a relationship, Joe? I don't need to keep things fresh because everything that I do, is, everything, is everything right. gets stale. Everything gets stale. <laughs> everything gets stale. Even 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 the right, the rightest of the right gets stale. So you're trying no, to say no, you're, no, you're, you're against you're against spicing things up in relationships? Is that what you're saying? Um, it depends. I'm I'm I think I would I think <laughs> I I will say this. I think I would be extremely selfish. When it comes to being in a threesome, um, and, and that is a topic for another day because I don't want to get into that. But mm-hmm. again, we we take mm-hmm. it back. To, we take it back. No, we take it back to being to being selfish. And I am a very selfish person. I nothing wrong with that. Yeah, I'm. There's nothing wrong with that. I I don't think I'm selfish, but I am very self-absorbed, which means I am very, very all about what's going on with me my jobs my my opportunities my stuff and people people do fall by the waistline so um i you know selfish i i, I don't know if you're selfish because when you're selfish means that you're only looking out for yourself and you you can't empathize with others and you you will step over anybody you know and you'll only you'll only worry about yourself and so i don't know if, i don't know if selfish is the right word well, that well, you're well, using i mean self absorbed maybe yeah but i don't know but, about selfish but, right but I know I get what you're saying, but I'm saying okay, maybe maybe this would be a better way of saying it. Selfish in the sense where, if you're in the relation in, in a relationship, a very um, serious one, I'm selfish in the fact that I don't want to share. Uh, and I don't want I, I and, I'm, and I'm talking about what we just spoke about in terms. Well, of like no, okay, but, but okay, but share, but share like how? Share like with her friends, with your friends. You keep her clothes inside in your house. Oh no no no! Not like that. No, okay, no. so so, so, about... so so it's not it's not selfish. Maybe you be maybe you're a selfish lover. Maybe I can see maybe in okay for this in a threesome. If you if you had a threesome and it was a devil's threesome, you and maybe you and another guy and her, or maybe you and another girl, you would monopolize all the time, and you would make sure that you got got yours and that, she, that, you, that your fiance got yours, and you would you would you wouldn't worry too much about the third person. Yes, that's selfish. But in, but but I, I don't think you can use the term selfish. In the real, because if you're selfish, you that mean, and you want to keep them, you keep them locked up. You wouldn't let them be around your friends. You wouldn't, you wouldn't let them be around. Yeah, friends. no, 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 so not definitely. So, yeah, yeah uh, no. 
<coughs> definitely, definitely not that aspect. Right. Just, just, a, just, in, just in the threesome. The selfish, <laughs> like, in, in my opinion, a, th- a self selfish is a very is a very powerful statement because it means that you can't be counted on for anything. You can't be expected to empathize with anybody. You can't. You can't. You, we we know that you are only about you, and that right. is, that is it. All at all times. That's what that's that's the term selfish to me. That's why I use the term self absorbed where. The majority of your time is about you and yourself, right. but you have those moments and you were able to be counted upon, but that, you know, you don't, you probably have to keep up more with me than me keep up with you because I'm so absorbed. I'm, I'm entrenched in my world and what I'm trying to do. And if you're not in my, my, you're not in my face daily, you, you will filter away kind of, kind of thing. That's, that's yeah, how. Well, I, yeah, I, I do. I do have this sort of tunnel vision when it comes to being, right. you know, Actually, being in my relationship where it's just like. Yeah. Yeah, where it's just like my main focus is her, my you know our relationship, our little family that we have, and uh, nothing else is is as important as that. So I do have that like that tunnel vision of sense where I need to strive, I need to, I need to strive uh, to be the best in life for not only not, not only for myself, which is the number one reason, but also for for them. So uh, I guess in that aspect, I. I do feel like, uh, yeah, I, I am a little self-absorbed when it comes to that. Um, but in in the sense of like, uh, I mean, it has it has nothing really to do when it comes to the topic of cheating because, especially when it, when when you throw in social media, because uh, it's, <laughs> you really can't be. There's no way, and I mean, I, I, I at least I think, and I don't know how how you feel about this. There's no real, there's no true way to feel. Um, selfish when it comes to cheating on social media i mean especially if especially if social media has social media has this platform where it can either make or break you when it comes to being in a relationship absolutely you know that like it it it, it literally is it has become one of those those platforms and you can fucking put it on on the highest pyramid where it's like if someone has if someone if you have a girlfriend or boyfriend and they see just, you know, for example, like what you went through, just a little bit of, of disrespectfulness, of just something that, that, mm-hmm. t- that twisted their their nerve. Uh, it's like bombs co- going off. And it's, it's so sad to think that something as trivial and stupid as social media can possibly change a person's mind when it comes to certain things like it just it, it kind of blows my mind when i think about it because it's not that serious again like you said unless you are unless you are really doing some really like disrespectful shit mm-hmm. on which can no, be of done, course of, of course be some some super overt uh like yeah like, like, if, like if a girl yeah if a, if a wife or a girl in a relationship was getting dick pics and yeah. she was and she was from the same guy and she was accepting those dick pics but she's married or in a deep relationship or engaged or right. whatever it is, that's fucked up. No, yeah, like, I'm not that's... saying that, that you can't end up cheating online. What I'm saying is that it's basically it should be held to the same standards that that you know, cheating online, um, it shouldn't be every little thing. It should be there should be clear standards and just like whatever you wouldn't you wouldn't tolerate in person, you shouldn't tolerate online. Of course. Is how I is how I, what I say, but you shouldn't be be you shouldn't be looking for um for issues you should not be 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 dissecting somebody's online presence to find reasons to be right. jealous find reasons to think that they're cheating just because right. they are the way they are you know right. what i'm trying to say that, yeah. that's what i'm trying to say is that because of the internet you know mm-hmm. and then even worse than that if you have no social media presence people look at you all suspect very yeah very to yeah have no snapchat no instagram no facebook so you know you have to have these things, but you have to sense to yourself because you don't want to upset future prospects or the one or or your tender only now or even your relationship right now. But then if you don't have it, then why why wouldn't you have it? What what's 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 wrong with you? What are you hiding? And 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 when, when in reality, your online persona is probably fake. Yes, so you're still hiding. Yes, so yeah, yeah. It's it's catch twenty two when it comes to online presence versus you know in the dating world. Have you have you heard of uh, these these well this joke is, this joke or meme I should say is going around for a very long time where like I I've seen it a couple times on Facebook where this <laughs> I guess the, the you know the, these two people are in a relationship and uh, they they don't want to the girl or the guy it can happen both ways 
and I'm going to give the example more so on the girls' part because, the, well, women have a problem with this. I know a couple women who actually have a problem with this. Whereas when they post their significant other online, it's like, oh, yeah, this is my boo, this is my hubby, this is my, you know, boyfriend, blah, 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 and they'll showcase them. But if you look at the guy's page, it's like crickets. There's nothing going exactly. on. Exactly. There's no, there's no, there's no significant other. There's no mm. wife. There's yep. nothing. Cause they know in the back of their head if they do that, mm -hmm. the women that they are that they have lined up, yeah, allegedly or potentially can can see this. Exactly. And fuck up their whole shit. Yeah. So yeah, this to me, I find that to be hilarious as well because uh. I could see, I could see how somebody who is single can be talking to and messing with multiple people. It happens all the time. It's, well, I mean, it's, it's, it's called not, you know, not not putting all your eggs in one basket. I'm guilty of that. I right. no longer just like meet one person and focus too, on that yeah. one person. I'm gonna I'm gonna have uh, options because. You know, I've many a times would focus on the wrong, on the wrong one, and that's a waste of time. I got to start all over again. So, you know, I, there's nothing necessarily wrong with playing the field as long right. as you're being being uh, being honest with yourself about it, and you're not leading anybody on to think that they're more important than they really are. Right. So, yeah, exactly. So, this this goes on constantly. This is how society is today. You know, they people have, uh, as Jason put it, you have you have you have you know. Uh, more than one egg in the basket. You have multiple people that you're speaking to. So the the idea of <laughs> and I it just it, it just makes me laugh when I think about it. The idea of having a, a serious relationship and one of the partners not showing their significant other in social media. As it, I, out of all the things, like if social media never existed, do you think cheating would be easier or more difficult to to spot or to or to figure out? If you're in a relationship, would it be like? Because I feel like if it wasn't, I think invented, I think all I think all social media did was give another outlet outlet to to get caught, right? Like, like, yeah, like, 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 another, like, like yeah. just like just like another tool. But I don't think it. I, I I don't think it makes it easier. It's just one more tool. It's you know. So instead of instead of having to grab the phone and stare through his phone, then you just go on your own phone and look and look through his contacts, you know, or. or Whatever he's doing on, on online, so yeah. I think it's it's just another tool. But what I do believe is that 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 the internet has made it easier to cheat, because your yes. reach because your reach to, to 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 find more people is yes. not is is extended beyond words now, and all it takes is the right well placed word and the right right profile picture, and then that's it. So the internet may not have made it easier to get caught. It, it gives another cool another tool to be to, you know. But I do believe that it has opened up the, the gateways to. Yeah. For for you know, to step out of your relationship because it has. All, you have so many different avenues of of um, what is it called? Uh, temptation. Where in reality, what what did you really have? Maybe school, maybe work when you're away from your, maybe when you go out, you gym. know, and and the gym. But but those things they they have limited time and and limited limited focus and but when you have the internet, you have that all day all day with you at all times. You can sneak it in, sneak it in, whatever, at any time, and it's unlimited access to everybody that you could possibly yeah. want to meet, all shades and, and shapes and colors and all whatever and all different personalities, and you have no idea who you connect with who will connect with you randomly, you know? Yeah, so, completely. I mean, I'll say that I, I found um, a relationship or two off of Facebook, just meet randomly, friend requesting somebody, we, we hit it off and then ended up dating. Uh, yeah, it's, it's I'm, I'm. Yeah, I'm a. I'm living proof as well. I, with Jason, I, I, <laughs> I had about three mini relationships off of Instagram and, yeah, actually just Instagram. Yeah, so I, I definitely right. understand. I, I even, you're right. I even had one off Instagram too. You know. Yeah. And 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 that individual, uh, you know, turned out to be eh, hopeless in my opinion, but. <laughs> But but shout she, out to the hopeless individual he's talking but she's, about. But she's still she you know I still hold her in high regards and and I'm absolutely smitten by her daughter. So it's just like you know it, it it's it's a double edged sword when it comes to that. But but right. I'm just saying that because of the internet cheating, the word cheating is so broad now that even if I was to get into a meaningful relationship, I wouldn't know what to expect based upon my. Um, dealings with my internet. Thank God for me, most of my social media 
is literally used to promote my my studio and to show off my kids. That's pretty much it. Yeah. Well, you um, want to know another thing also because yeah. you're 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 more wiser and you're more mature. You don't you don't let social media be that outlet where like, you know, I wouldn't think for someone like you, especially you, in my opinion, you wouldn't let social media consume you that much when it comes to like uh, finding out the truth or finding things out. I think. I think you're pretty but much because, because because that's not that's not me. I mean, if, yes, if, I, exactly. if, if I not have you. if I have um, if I have questions or I have concerns, I will address it with you. And if I don't get a satisfactory response or I don't think that's good enough, whether I'm right or wrong, I'm not saying I'm always right. Then I, I walk away. You know, right. it's as simple as simple as that. Like um, I was dating this one girl a couple of years ago. She was significantly younger than me, and she could never hang out with me late she always you know but she, she lived at home she had a curfew but then one night she was out with with her, her friends and hanging out with some dudes late into the night i questioned it um i didn't get a sense of the re- response and that was the end of that relationship just yeah. like that yeah simple as that no, there's no that was, back and forth there perfect is perfect example yes yeah. that was a perfect example yeah, that was it you you i mean and i don't i'm not saying that she was cheating with one of the guys she was hanging out with but what i am saying though is you tell me you have to be home at a certain time. I respect that. Completely respect that. Right. But right. then when your behavior changes that, if you can find time to hang out with your friends, especially dudes late at night, you can't find the time to be there with me, that's it. I would ask the question. Yeah. And yep. if you're not going to give me something. And I forget what she had, how she had, oh, she said, oh, I'm not talking to any of them like that. And I said, that's not the point. That's the, I, I said, one thing, I don't even know why you even went to that point. I was only saying, why is it that you were able to do that, but you can't do that with me? And that was it. Yeah. I did it. No, and that's, it. that's completely... And again, no whatsoever. But I, and of course, I knew that because of social media. I just happened to see a post. And I just asked. I didn't go into any of the guys or find out who the guys were. I didn't care. Um, and of course, I had no proof whatsoever that she cheated or that she was going to cheat or that she liked one of them. All I know is that I had a concern. I addressed my concern. It was not answered to, to, to my liking, to my satisfactory, and I ended it. And I was yeah. into that. Yeah. By the way, me and her are great friends now. Me and this girl, but <laughs> we are. Yeah. We are. It's by, like a, by, by the way, it, it, it ended kind of rough, but you know what? We're good friends right no, now. No, yeah. we are. We are those. Like we got like a big brother, little sister kind of thing going on right now. So, so it's great. But I'm saying that bringing her up that's a good example of, of why because I could have easily gotten jealous. And stay, stay with the relationship and say, well, yeah, you, yeah. Oh, when this guy pops up again in pictures, I'm like, I'm like, oh, ooh, ah, no, I don't have time. Yeah, for that. you, 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 you made the right move because you, again, you made the right move because not only are you not that type of person to deal with that shit, but you are. I feel like you are above it, and I feel like you don't want to deal with that stress and that bullshit. When, on the flip side. You don't have to deal with that stress, and, that stress and bullshit. You could just easily find somebody who won't give you that type of response. There is somebody for everybody out there. Uh, let me just point that out, ladies and gentlemen. That this um, this podcast is also an advocate, or at least I am. I don't know about Jason for the <laughs> quote for the quote, and by saying there is somebody for everybody out there. So if you feel as if um, your significant other is not giving you the the answer that you deserve to hear especially if you put the time and effort in uh you you need to question that relationship and uh, again again if it's even if it's a if it's a long lasting relationship who gives a fuck because at that point especially at that point you should be able to speak to each other on a level where you can both respect each other and give each other solid straight answers truthful answers hey i did this hey i said this no, I didn't do this. No, I didn't say this. And just, you know, move on from it. And if, and if, depending on the situation and what occurred and, what's, and what was said, you guys can grow from that. So, uh, yeah, I, I really don't have uh, uh, much to say about this because I'm, I'm, very, I'm very passionate about this topic, like most of our topics, actually, that we talk about. But I just don't. Well, I, yeah, we need to make it very clear that none of the topics that we bring up that we don't have a personal stake in it or we don't have a personal um, uh, yeah, this is attachment all- to it. So these are all these are all important topics to us. Yeah, uh, I only bring up the article because the article it struck a chord with me when I read it, and I said, I said, oh my god, that's great because it's funny because this this topic we're discussing jumped ahead of all the other topics that we pre pre prepared. So 
I no, yeah, yeah, which was really great because I'm glad I'm glad you brought this one up. This was something that I actually was I was trying to formulate uh, the topic of cheating, but didn't really know if I should make it like a very broad thing or a very like blunt thing. Whereas, oh, what do you yeah. think about cheating? Yeah, I well, want no, to yeah. make it. Yeah, I wanted to make well, no, it like how you have, put it. We're, yeah, we're going to have more cheating topics. Cheating is, I mean, we're only touching on the online implications of cheating, but then there's, of course, second chances and, and stuff like that. We're going to get into that into the future because because uh, I, I can I can go forever about second chances when it comes to these things. <laughs> and, you know, and, 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 and habitual behaviors and, and basically what is what is an, what is the line? What do you, where do you draw cheating, you know, the line? And that's another topic. But, um, yeah. So uh, what we'd love from here for you guys, what do you think about about uh, how cheating is complicated thanks to the Internet? Do you believe that because of the Internet, it's easier to cheat and that anything can be seen as cheating and that people we yes. are more sensitive now right. to certain things? Or do you think that um, that that no, we're absolutely you know, that I'm wrong and that that, that yes, anything that's that anything your, your partner considers inappropriate can, can and should be considered cheating? I'd love to hear your responses on this. You can email us uh, last of the nice guys at Yahoo dot com. And of course, we will get to these the following episode, or well, no, in a couple episodes, I believe, because uh, we record two episodes at a time. But yes. we will get to your get to your response yes. because we love to do reachbacks, especially if if this topic is chosen for the Council of Men, uh, we'll absolutely re reference you. So, by all means, join the join the conversation. We love to have a discussion with you guys about this because we want to know that we're not alone and these things are are discussed amongst other people as well. And, uh, and this is not just for men. Women, you're allowed to, to to email as well. Just understand that we will respond. Yes, and you may not. You may, you may not like the response. But, we you know, encourage. But we encourage. We encourage both. We encourage the, the the male female discord. That we do encourage. We yes. want the gentlemen to join the conversation, but we but we do encourage the male female discord because it yes. is it is something that that we expect from this podcast. Of course, we, the, the, the name of it and the concept. And I'm pretty sure you know there are women out there that have something to say about what we have to say. Yes. So. Um, great topic, Joe. I, this, this is great. I, I feel this is like therapy for me. It's, it's so, it's so, <laughs> so, it's so I, was just, I was just about to say it is like therapy for me, too, because I I love talking about these things. I need to get uh, 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 these topics for us, ladies and gentlemen, are a way, another way. Not only do we want to um, get, you know, inform you guys of our personal opinions and experiences about these topics, but we want to also tell you that. Um, for us too, especially us too. This is this is a form of therapy for us. Yes. Uh, and we're not. And I'm not ashamed to say. I'm not ashamed to say it. And I'm sure this guy is not ashamed to say it because. No, this um, guy's not. Yeah, because we we speak to each other on a regular basis, and when things happen in our lives that are dramatic, or when they when they are unexpected, we are the first person. We me, I, I, Jason is the first yeah. person that I call. When basically, it comes what, what this podcast really is is taking our phone conversations and putting it on, on on the mic. 100%. And then uploading it to the internet. That's literally what it is. We're not. We're not even. We're not even uh, uh, posing for this for this podcast. We are taking legitimately our phone conversations and our text conversations from the phone to the mic and putting it online for you guys to yeah. get with us. That's literally what it is. Uh, now that I think about it, wow, that is all we're doing. Um, That's all we're doing. Literally, so, very smooth and mellow conversations. Right. And I just wanted to add also um, one quick thing. Uh, for anybody who has had experiences with any of these topics, um, I, I would I would love I mean not me of, of course but m Jason and myself would love to hear uh, your stories and experiences. Oh yeah, because, by all means. Yeah, because the 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 experiences that you guys share with us um, kind of like shed shed light on why these things happen and why we talk about these these said topics. So if you have any. Uh, uh, you know, positive or negative things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Email us, email us, and send us, yeah. send us dear J, dear J and J letters, and tell us your, your, tell us your entire scenario, and and we would absolutely give you your opinion, and and I dare to say we'd give you um, some advice based upon our own experiences. I don't, I don't mind um, picking, you know, picking my brain to give you some advice or or yeah. some, you know, that'd be great. So so say, you know. Email us last of nice yahoo .com, and but I wanted to say dear J and J, <laughs> you know. So 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 as I'm reading it in my head, I can hear like a like a very whimsical voice. Dear Jason and Joe, I have this girl that always wants to go out to fancy places, you know, stuff like that. You know, in my head. That's why I want to hear it in my head. So oh, all right, so we're gonna wrap this up. Um, before of course, stay tuned to the very end to hear um our social medias and how to contact us. But uh, before we go, Joe, you want to tell them how to find how to contact you personally? 
So my personal um, social media uh, contacts are Instagram and Twitter. And Instagram, it's J-O-E-T-A-R-R-O. And on Twitter, it's J-O-E-T-A-R-R-R-O with three R's instead of two, which is really stupid. But anyway, what about you, Jay? All right. Well, you can find me. Personally, uh, well, again, my, my social media has a lot of my studio stuff, so definitely check it out if you want to see what else I'm producing, both web series and podcasts. There's a lot of stuff out there. I do post a few, a few personal things on uh, Facebook, usually some of my kids are on, on Instagram, but definitely follow it's Vibrev Studios. That's V I B E R E V S T U D I O S. That's on everything that's Twitter, Instagram, uh, Facebook. Um, YouTube, it's it's I call that brand recognition. It's just consistency across the board, and you exactly. see some, some some fun stuff. You might even see this 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 dude right here pop up in some other productions that we have. So um, there's a lot you can see through me, and you can get you can get a little deeper with me. Uh, slip into my DM if you'd like, but definitely you know email us from the podcast email if you definitely want to get a hold of both of us because we both have access to that. So um, that's it. Thanks for tuning in, and we have so much more coming down the pipe. Thank you so much, guys, um, and please send us any comments or uh, uh, stories. I would love to hear them once again. And, oh, uh, yes, and if you want to join the Council of Men, we have an idea. We yes. have 10 episodes. We will get a, we'll gather a group of, group of men, both guys that we know and don't know, even even listeners if possible, and we will then pick up a, a topic randomly from the, from the previous nine episodes and then have a round-robin discussion where Joe and I will, 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 will moderate and have a big discussion. If you're at all interested in joining the Council of Men recordings, by all means, email us at, um, again, last of the nice guys at yahoo.com so we can put you on a list so we can start getting this going because episode 10 is right around the corner. Council and, of Men, folks. And the Council, Council of, of Men is. Men. I am dying for this because once we have a good Council of Men, then, I, then, I, then I, I'm going to have a, a, a round robin discussion with the Council of Men and Council of Women in the future. Yes. So we're, we're building. We're building to a good. We're building to an, an Avengers level, um, you know, <laughs> epic, epic showdown. So I will. But, I will also be trying to um, in the in the near future because I have spoken about this with Jason. I'm also trying to uh, go live with Jason at his location at his studio. Oh yeah. I I will be doing that more often this year. Uh, pro- probably later on in the year, if not early next year. But we're. I'm definitely planning on doing that because. Um, the reactions that we will have in person are probably ten times funnier. Oh, yeah, ten times funnier. Ten times funnier, so. and it's gonna be much better. So yeah, that'll be even <laughs> special. Those, of course, uh, what I didn't tell Joe is that whenever we are we are in town with each other, and it, it, it happens, you know, you know, yearly for the most part, that <laughs> we, we would not only would we be in the same room, but we would be doing the podcast live. Yes, we'd be streaming it live on Facebook, Instagram, um, and YouTube because we might as well. What? Why not? Might as well. So. So just look forward. To, we have a lot coming up. I mean, again, this is this is there's you know little bumps in the road as we get through this podcast and and, and figure out our style and our smoothness. And we're at you know, we're at five episodes now, zero, one, two, three, and four. So trust me, I'm pretty sure we're gonna be way different come the 20th episode, which is way different come the 40th episode. But yep. the core values are still gonna be there. So stay tuned with us because uh, we want you to join the conversation. Really Hell, last of the nice guys. Hell fucking yeah. Thank you for your time. The last of the nice guys. Follow, like, and subscribe on Twitter and Instagram at Last Nice Guys. Facebook.com slash last nice guys or email last of the nice guys at yahoo.com. This is an audio production of Vibe Revelation Studios, the cure for your common day. VibeRevStudios.com.